Hello everyone, my name is Xander Bricks, and yes, after all this while, here is a video. Um, I've just been so f focused and I've been caught up on school and tests and stuff since it's the end of the year. I haven't had time to do any YouTube things, but now that we're here, we can do the stuff. So, today, we're actually going to be reviewing um, the LEGO Minecraft Chicken Coop set. Set number 211480, or 40, sorry. Comes with 198 pieces, goes for around $20. Comes with Alex, a tamed wolf, a chick, two chickens, one with wings out and one without, and a baby chicken as well. And you can see on the back, just all the cool features the set has, which we're actually gonna go take a look at in the review. So let's get right into it. All right, so to get a full look at this set, we're gonna have to remove the minifigure. So first remove Alex, the wolf, and we'll remove this chicken, but not the others. So as you can see, um, Lego did a good job of making the terrain. They added some nice big green grass plates. And there's also a little lake and a waterfall over here. You can see the back is just bare. And there's also a chest in the back and a knob, which I'll explain for later. Once it goes around to the front, on the very right side, we have a nice chicken banner. We'll take a bit closer look at that later. And we also have the new style of furnace, which on one side has the fire and the, to simulate that it's cooking something. On the other side, it has no fire to simulate that nothing is in it or it has run out of fuel. So we also have a piece of grass here, a chicken egg, which... um. We'll tell you, we'll sh I'll show you why we have chicken eggs for this set in a minute. And then we also have some opening fence gates right here for the chickens. And we have a baby chicken right here. We'll take a better look at him later. We also have a normal chicken, which we'll take a better look at him later as well. So, it's time to explain the whole purpose of the set. Oh, also there's a torch on the side of the fence. So, the whole purpose of the set, as you can see... There was one chicken standing that we didn't remove, and that is this big chicken right here. Now, this chicken has a purpose. So this set is actually simulating like a breeding farm for chickens. So what will happen is they'll breed, and then they'll put eggs right there. You can see where they put the eggs, right there. And then, once you do that, and to get an egg in there, you just take the, you hold the chicken's head like that and take it off, and it opens up like that. And you can take the egg in and out. So there you go. You put an egg in. Put the chicken's head back on. And then once, what you do is open the chest at the very back. And you pull this knob. And once you pull that knob, that'll put the egg in the chest. So then you push it back. And then there's a chest at the back. And this chest, you can see, has the egg that we just put in it. And it also has some other other items like some chicken, um, some bones, and it also has a feather in there as well. So that was pretty much for the set. It's really not that complicated. Pretty straightforward set. And now, let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. Alright, so now we're on to the minifigures, or technically the minifigure and the other buildable figures in the set. So first we have Alex, the standard Alex from Minecraft, has the brown pants, the green shirt, and then the orange hair dripping down onto the shirt. And in this set she does come with a stone axe, which is pretty nice. And she also does come with a new piece, which is a just one by one circle tile of lead. Now in Minecraft, if you don't know, you can use lead to basically tie it around animals. If you're on like computer and stuff, you right click and you tie it around animals, and then you can carry them along with you. So that's a nice piece. Um, I'm pretty sure you get two of them in the set. I put the extra one away. But that's really nice that they included that into the set. Next up, we have the Tamed Wolf. So we'll actually turn it on its side so you can get a better look. But the Tamed Wolf is nothing new. It's just the normal wolf has a nice tail and that awesome headpiece. And at this time, it just has the addition of a blue collar. And now, we have the chickens of the set. 
So first up, we just have the normal chicken. Pretty straightforward, white all around, uh, yellow stud for a base. And it's also got this really nice headpiece, which I'm trying to get a better look at. You can see, oh, dropped it. Uh, um, there we go. You can see it, or if it stops, there we go. You can see it's like a one by one. And then also has that extension. And that's where the eyes, the mouth, and everything else goes onto the chicken. Pretty cool piece, in my opinion. And you also get three of those in the set in the form of this chicken. The chicken with its wings out, which just uses the white neck bracket piece uh, for Lego minifigures right there. And you just attach it on the side. And there's also the baby chicken, which I have to tilt my camera down. There we go. The baby chicken. Now, the baby chicken is actually a really interesting and simple build. So what you do is, you just take the chicken head piece that I showed you earlier and put it onto the yellow stud. That's it. That's the chicken. And it's awesome. It really looks awesome. So that's, the, that's it for the minifigures. And now on to my thoughts on the set. Just before we go on to my final thoughts for the set, I actually did forget to review the banner, which we're doing right now. So this is on a 2x3 with the hooks on the side. A nice light blue color and it is the minecraft banner so there is no stickers it is a nice printed piece which i love about the minecraft series no stickers just printed pieces you can see it has a nice depiction of the chicken on it and just some nice blue background so that's pretty much it for the banner and now on to my thoughts for the set for real this time all right guys so now time for my final thoughts on the set i think this is a pretty good set <clears throat> It is $20 and comes with 198 pieces, so the price for part ratio is pretty good. Comes with a lot of features. I give it a 10 out of 10. The only thing I did or I do wish for would be probably some more terrain, but that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for the video. Um, if you like, see, please like, comment, and subscribe. We are so close to 150 subscribers. I think we're like five away. So do that. Also stick around to the end for the stop motion review, just revealing everything on the set. And that's pretty much for that's pretty much it for the review. And I'll see you later.